Right lads, I've just been to take the world's longest piss and I kind of had a revelation when I was doing it. Do you think the clues are tied to the bloody camera? Because remember the game's kind of forced us a couple of times to, to use that camera to do certain things. I want to quickly go back to this greenhouse and just scan the area with the camera to maybe, I don't know if we can get fingerprints off something. But it seems like the camera's a much bigger deal now than it used to be. Ah, oh, the wait there. No. Ah, there is. I fucking knew it. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Oh, well, that's handy. Yeah, okay. At least we know what we're doing now. Right, let's go back to them rooms. Use the cameras to see what we can scan. So if Madame Carlyle... ...is ready for the killing, why don't we just go home? <laughs> we should just go home. Or maybe we've created too many poisons. Right. Um, bedrooms. Right, let's get back upstairs. Uh, there is a, f a room on the ground floor that we have to investigate that we haven't investigated yet. Bathroom. We found the stairs. Okay. We should be allowed to go through here without them bothering because I've already opened this door. Right. Nothing. Okay, we've, we've never found anything there. Which is a shame. Let's go to the other room. I'm pretty sure it's on the other side. No, this room was clear, wasn't it? Yeah, she had no... This woman's got no... No stake in it. Hey, Ron. Did Yates mention anything about the Carlisle account? Right, I don't know, I don't really know what to do here. The greenhouse two out of cl two clues found. Rebecca's room. What p clue could I possibly be missing? Emma and Gregory's room. Again? Ah, it's really bugging us not knowing this room. Uh, there's something else in this room that I've got to find.
You know what is, I don't even care. I don't need this information, unless it is just talking to people. Ah, what was that? Documents. Rebecca Carlyle's notebook found in the bedroom where she is staying. The notes contain various Carlyle assets, as well as a board meeting from the night before. The handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note. Okay, so we're looking for stuff like that. Right, what? letter. Right, we're going back to that room. There's going to be something stupid. It's going to be documents. It's always going to be documents that we have to scan, I think. Target has been eliminated. I <laughs> didn't even have to do anything. That's that is amazing. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Now there's an issue about that. Because I need that thing off her. That's funny. You don't even have to do anything to eliminate um, her. Where did she die? I wish there was some kind of little icon that you could use or see Do you know when to use the camera because I kind of find a fucking thing here. Right, um... Ah, oh, I just don't care. Right, where, where's that woman? Right, let me just try this. This might not work, right? Oh, wait there. We, we need to investigate an office on the ground floor anyway. So that's a funny mission that she dies regardless. Right, office, office, office. Oh, we found guns. Stroking the door to Alexa's office. I kid you not. I saw her rearranging the photos in the sitting room, hiding Madame in the back, and then moving Montgomery to the front. She's not right in her head. Why would she do that? He died almost 50 years ago. Oh, thank God Madame Carlyle is still alive. But he was such a gentleman. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. <sighs> you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. Right, so... All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. Where's the dumb waiter? That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Nice. That's not the daughter of Mr. Ferns, but this is.
Right, let's go. Bosh. Before we do anything, let's look at the camera. Can we steal anything with the camera? Ah. Zachary's God's diary. diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room. Brilliant. He didn't write it himself. Okay then. Mansion master key, excellent. Mr. Fernsby's office, one out of three clues found. I don't actually know if that makes a difference. Like picking things up, does that like trigger it or what? Hmm. Ah. Painkillers. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Just Maybe dead, you though. should tell him you are ready to present your findings. <laughs> she, she, but she's already dead? How Mr. am I going to do this? Do you want to do some more detecting, 47? Oh, there, look. There's something on there. That's it. Everything found. A list written by Mr. Fernsby, the butler. It details various preparations for tomorrow's funeral. Okay, right. So what we'll do is... Why don't we save it? It's a shame we couldn't... We weren't fast enough. Obviously, we, we, we couldn't be fast enough because the first time we played it. But if we con confront Mr. Fernsby now... There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good time, I think. I'm ready from all to the decisions. I mean, pram or stroller. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Should I ask her to marry me? What awesome. But she's already dead? Or am I thinking there's a different woman that's dead? Oh, no, no, no. Madame Carlyle is definitely the woman that's dead because that was our target. So now, if he takes us to her, where, where she is, where the dead body is, we can take, we can kill him, take the token off him, take the token off her, and get access to the documents. Okay. So does this mean we've got access to the top floor now? It does. And that's good because I was previously going to just stand in this corner at the top of these stairs and throw a wrench at that guy. Go on then. And then get to the top floor. I'm glad I didn't. Let's put this wrench away. I'm walking about with a wrench. All right there. Because normally when Which one's the office? Doesn't look like a fucking office. Mate, you're the worst butler in the history of butlering. I'm doing good, right? But I don't know where this office is. What? 
Somebody tell me where her office is. Activate button. Oh, there's the safe. So this is her office. Okay. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Good idea. Right, let's get the camera out. These eggs. Let her open her poker. Hmm. Maybe upstairs. Oh, hello. I think this guy needs to go to Chinatown. Looking good, man. Looking good. Where's the box? There's the box. Right, so what we need to do is... This guy needs to get wrenched to the face. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. <laughs> that sorry, that just never ever ever gets old. You gun in there, mate. Give me my wrench back. Take your gun. Right. Let's have a good look around this office to see if we can find something worthwhile. Where's the camera? So this is where she was stood at the start of the level, wasn't it? Nice. Oh, it's got a bloody gun. Shotgun if we want to shoot our way out, which is not what I want to do. Oh, you can dump propane tanks in there. And we saw a couple of propane tanks in the in the kitchen. Okay then. I'm still not seeing what to do here, if I'm honest. Wait there, what symbols are we really looking for? Ah. Oh no, those, those are switches. A number. I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm looking for here, lads. But we can go in this room now anyway, so...
Aha. Unicorn horn. What the hell? I bet you there was a challenge to kill someone with a unicorn horn. I, di I didn't know what I'm looking for here, if I'm honest. Why are these guys in here? Oh, they're outside on the balcony. What's up there? Oh, that's just how to get in. Lad, I don't know how to get into the safe. I don't know where the woman's gone. I think I'm all. I've just. I'm over, overall fucked. There's nothing I can do. There's got to be something blatant with a, a number on it or something. What was the code? Wait there. Do you think that'll be the same code that the guys downstairs were repeating? And why am I not allowed in this room? I don't know, lads. This mission's really fucking hard. Right, let's go downstairs, because I know there's a guy that gave a four-digit code on the computer. Maybe that's the same number. Yeah, the, the whole chain of events is fucked here. No need to panic. Feel too good about that promotion I thought might be coming my way. Yeah, well, don't count on it. This is a shit assignment. No, I didn't expect this. Yates didn't even warn me, and now he doesn't return my calls. May I need the code? I just wish I was home. I love you too. Bye. Come on, mate. Is he ever going to see that call again or not? Nah, I think we thought we can't finish the mission. We don't know where her bodies went. We can't get the code, we can't get the tokens that these people might have. It's just a fucking shit show. Nobody knows. Oh, I kind of believe it. I'm probably have to restart the mission again. We need to find the butler. I need to kill him. Okay. What? I need help. Um, the deposit box may well contain a copy of the case file on Arthur Edwards. The Cotton Prodigals, Rebecca Carlyle and Ms. Fensby, Mr. Fensby, the butler, have each been given a token for a Milton Fitz Fitzpatrick bank. When combined, the tokens grant access to a deposit box to whoever holds the seat, the set. Where's the deposit box?
Ah, oh, dear now, nah, lads. What, what, what am I supposed to do? Fucking defeated. Like, don't get me wrong, I thought that was funny how it was timed and she she died anyway because there's an assassin other than me here. Or one of the family members has killed her. But at the same time, it's just fucked it up because I haven't had time to explore and we'll have to restart the mission. Right, well, I did not. Where's Mr. Fensby? Can't even get him out of here now. I don't know, lads, but one thing I do want to try. Key to Mr. Fensby's office. Right, wait there. Where the fuck is Mr. Fensby's office? I did like this level one bit. Everything looks the same. Where would his office be? Bathroom? That's not an office. You're taking over for mother now. Rebecca Carlisle, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint. I don't drink. care, mate. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the end. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious uh, wife, causing another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. Ah, what, 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 There's lads, what, what can I do? Oh, so we've been to Mr. Fen Fensby's office. Okay. We found everything there. Short of it. Zachary I was not alive when we left. Where did she die? If... If I know where the body is, I can go and get... She probably dropped something on the floor when she died, which was part of what I need to open that safe. But I do know what it is. It said look around the room and find something. Oh wait there. I've got an idea. Please stay back. Uh, where is her room again? Right, this is my one last idea and we're gonna have to restart the mission because it's impossible. It's fucking just fucked.
How are you, sir? I'm fantastic. I'd be better if this fucking mission wasn't shit. I still didn't know where our office is. That's just, oh my god. Ah, it was this one, wasn't it? Right. She wouldn't just Ah oh, fuck it. I'm googling this. I can't I can't read Dana anymore, mate. It's pathetic. Um Hitman 3 Save code. What's this called? Carlisle. Right. So the, the code is 1975, but how would I know that? What? Four symbols are displayed. I did what? Oh my god, I didn't even fucking see that. Lads, I did I was looking on this, right? I didn't even realize this because everything's so brown. My eyes couldn't pick it up. Clock, telescope, fire, elk, fucking piece of shit. Right, I, I want to I wanna do it. Clock. Alright, I still don't know how I would get the code from it. Unless it's a different clock. Oh, it's a different type of clock. Now, nah, see, even if I had that information, I did. I didn't even know. I'm looking for, I'm looking for a clock. Right, let's forget about the clock. Telescope. Oh, well, the telescope's upstairs, isn't it? I think. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's not actually on the item. It's on the wall. Right, so we've got unknown 9. Even though I know the code, I'm figuring it out for myself. I just needed that little bit push in the direction. Right, so we've got a 9 for the second number. Fire. Seven.
Yeah, still can't find it on that. In an elk. Where's the elk? Aha, I'll be ahead on the wall somewhere. There it is. Five. So the only thing we wouldn't have figured out is the first one. Because I don't know where the clock is, but it wouldn't matter because if I had 975, I would just flick through all the numbers and brute force it. Right, come on then, let's do this. Jesus H. Give me that. Now let's fuck off. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Oh shit, what's happening? Right, we need to get out of here quick. That does not sound good. But if I was to do this again, I could get this done so fast. Hello, sir. Hello, good man. Why don't we take the boat? Let's escape via boat. I honestly, this the layout of this whole level is so confusing. I just I dislike it. It's not fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm wrong. Side. Not the wrong side of the building again. Nobody wants a house like this. It's too square. There's a reason why buildings are normally rectangular shape, so that you don't get fucking lost in them because you know where you are. Right, let's go. Okay, I just, I, I fingers crossed that we have some missions in some exotic locations because this was boring to look at. It was too much brown. I didn't like, I didn't like that puzzle. Not only that, I wouldn't have minded the puzzle, right? Because we could have avoided it by getting the key code off the butler and the woman. But because she died on a time limit, like she was going to die regardless, I, I don't know where the fucking body went. Bro. At least I've gone on a boat ride. I bet you I can't even go on a boat ride. I can't. Can't even go on a boat ride. Even though I've got the okay, key. This, is, this isn't a viable exit. <laughs> you fucking shit. I've got the board keys. Oh well. <laughs> Oh my days. I guess we'll just go out the front entrance, do you think? Yeah, I think we haven't got a choice. There was so little hitman at what the hell's this? Oh you can break off a unicorn horn there. Or you can find one in the room. Well if anything, if there's one good thing to come of this level, it was that we pretty much know all the different ways you can you can do it. Oh, I can't, why am I why do I have to walk all the way over there? Oh we could throw someone down a well that would be hilarious. Yeah, I don't know why we weren't allowed to use the boat. Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out. It's the Constantine. Shit. Oh, the Constantine infiltrated us. Okay, fair enough. Oh, thank fuck that mission was over. I didn't like it one bit.
Actually, I lied. I'm lying. I did enjoy it. But up until the point when I couldn't progress because I didn't know where the, the woman's body was. And honestly, I wouldn't have... Uh, that symbol thing, I couldn't see them symbols on the top of that safe. I'm not observant enough. Okay, what we'll do is... This mission was completed while offline. Oh, well, it's fucking great. Offline. I haven't got a choice. I've got to be offline. Um, You owe him nothing. Wait, what we'll do is... We shall... Exit the menu like we normally do. And... Right, so we've done On Top of the World. We've done Death in the Family. We'll continue with the cutscene and the mission Apex Predator. First thing next episode. Okay, lads, well, I hope you enjoyed it, even though... I felt it was completely tragic, but I think if I did do it again, it would be a lot more exciting because I could go in, fucking James Bond, assassination style, killing people with poison and stuff, just we didn't have a chance because we were busy exploring the level. Okay lads, see you in the next one.